A Star is Born. Hi, my name is Kyle Suggs, and welcome to my conservative take for the movie A Star is Born. And we're going to talk about this right now. Okay, so the way this works is I'm going to give you my review based on five categories, and then I'm going to give you my conservative take on whether or not you should go, not go, or go with caution. Now, this last section will include spoilers, but I will put a spoiler section up top. And if you want to just skip over that and get right to the final review, you can look at the index below and skip ahead. Now, let's get started. A Star is Born is a 2018 Oscar-nominated film starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Bradley Cooper actually produced this movie and directed this movie. This movie had been through some development hell for a while. Clint Eastwood even had some interest in this as well, but it never came to flourishing. Bradley Cooper got the opportunity to make the film. This film also stars Sam Elliott as Bradley Cooper's brother, whose, whose character's name is Jack, and another good performance by David Chappelle as Jack's friend, and Andrew Dice Clay, of all people, who's also very good in Blue Jasmine, by the way, if you haven't seen that, as Allie's father. Allie is played by Lady Gaga. And so the story revolves around a country singer played by Bradley Cooper. This guy's name is Jack Maine. He's a famous guy. Everybody knows who he is. He ends up falling in love with a singer. It's a really touching story. I mean, I, I, I liked it. It's based on several remakes. The original one was 1937 and it was remade several times. The popular one that I've known about is the one with Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson, I believe. Without giving much away, I'm going to give this movie an 8 in the category of emotional impact. The music is great, the romance is great, and there are other reasons why I give it that, but I don't want to give too much away until the spoiler section. For the category of intangibles, I give this film a 7 for three major reasons. One for the supporting cast with David Chappelle, Sam Elliott, and Andrew Dice Clay. Also for the soundtrack, but mostly for Cooper and Gaga's magic on screen. Gaga's first role as an actress was fantastic, totally believable. Her chemistry with Cooper was just amazing. They stole every scene they were in. She was believable. You almost feel like she has been through this because it's so uncanny that she's able to deliver that kind of performance in this kind of environment with that kind of level of actor she's up against with Bradley Cooper. And just, she got the Oscar nomination for it. She very easily could have won it. Uh, but she didn't. The music was great as well. So, yeah, a solid seven for intangibles. As far as watchability is concerned, this movie's a nine. From the very first scene, from the very first credit, I was hooked. And you'll know why when you see it. The movie's fantastic for every reason I mentioned before. This movie's a nine for watchability. Now for my conservative take. It's not what I have to say about this movie. It's what I don't have to say about it. And that is, is that you don't have a male character who is an idiot, who doesn't love his wife, and who doesn't try to do what's best. Is he flawed? Absolutely. Is he seriously flawed? Absolutely. But does he love his wife? Is he a nice guy? Does he love his family? Does he want to do right by everybody? Yes, yes, and yes. Bradley Cooper plays a stellar performance there. A lot of times we see roles with, with men in a prominent lead. We see, of course, the flaw in this part, but then you also see character flaws just from being a person with integrity. I don't see that this person, Jack, had an integrity issue. It was an issue with his drinking. And this is spoiler section. That should have been up there. You should have caught on to that. He was an alcoholic, and he destroyed his life, but there were reasons for that growing up with having an abusive father. And so he meets this woman, Lady Gaga, Allie, and uh, she helps him. He helps her. He, he helps her start her career. But she was awesome to begin with. She could sing. She just needed a break. Their relationship was, was strong. And you sense that. It had problems. But it was that realness and that rawness that I really appreciate about this movie. And it kind of stayed with me at the end. And... I will say this though, since there is, this is, this is a double spoiler, so if you don't want to know what's going on, 
I'm double spoiling this, so you've been warned. So Jack commits suicide in the end of the film, and it was because his wife's producer basically gave him a situation where he was telling him that he's a loser because his alcoholism was causing too much embarrassment, causing her record sales, and cost her career. And because he loved his wife so much, he decided she was better off without him. So in his twisted way of thinking, I'm going to take care of take my own life so that I can better her life. Of course, that wasn't right. And I'm going to leave a crisis number at the bottom here. If you have a feeling like that, that you feel like you have no one to talk to and just no way to go, uh, reach out to the number below in the comments and um, get some help. And, uh, and uh, because this is a serious problem and I don't want to condone it in any sort of way. So I want to make sure that I make that clear in this section here. So uh, this moves a go, by the way, for my conservative take. I didn't have any issues. It was a real human drama with, with, a, he real, with a real human tragedy at the end of it. So my overall score is the 15.5. It's the highest score I've given so far to a movie this year. That translates to three and a half stars and it's a solid go. And I believe that you will really enjoy this film. And yeah, I mean, just check it out. The music's great. The acting is great. The story is great. To me, it was, of all the Oscar movies I've seen this year, this is the best one. So, but what's important is not what I think, it's what you think. And did you see A Star Is Born? Do you want to go see A Star Is Born? Let me know what you think about that. And uh, if I got something wrong, I'd be curious to know that too. If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and share and subscribe. And by all means, let me know if there's anything I can do to make this channel better. Okay? Now with that, I'm done. And as always, be awesome continually. And I'll see you on my next conservative take.